Hello and welcome! Hello everybody! Welcome to Starlink Battle for Atlas. I'm just gonna give a... I'm just gonna... Wait a little bit longer here. Let's see who else is gonna show up. Give time to, uh, for people to come in. Uh, cause, uh, this This game's interesting. I've, I've played a little bit of it. It is a lot of fun. Let me go ahead and work on my sound here too. I'm coming in loud and clear here. I keep forgetting to adjust my sound settings whenever I go and go and stream like this. Let me just make sure the sound's coming in, and then we will get started here. Sounds pretty good. All right, let me let me do some adjustments. All right, let's try. Be a little louder. Sound on the computer is very weird. You need. Only it's like, oh, you want to be like super quiet. It's like, no, I just want it balanced. All right, let's see who's here right now. I think that's pretty good on sound. We have Ty. We have Bonsai Boy. We have Black Wolf of Blue Wings. We have the Tiger Wolf. Let's see if we get anybody else in here. I'm expecting a little bit more, but I guess we'll, I guess we'll, uh, we'll go from there. I'll let uh, the mods uh, explain. Uh, to folks who are just arriving who show up during the stream what this is um, So for uh, those of you who don't know this is from Ubisoft So it's from the same company and I think even some people from the same team as Far Cry 5 so um, You uh, you you can you can you, you can see where this is going um, But this is a game uh, there's actually a toys to life game you buy the toys and you can put it on the controller and the toys actually become the ships in the game um, I don't have the toys. I just bought it digitally, which was actually easier. It got me a couple more lives and everything uh, Hello Xander and uh, one of the cool things about this is that uh, Star Fox is uh, playable on the switch Fox McCloud, so Yeah, you can guess who my main is Um uh, I won't be going in with the co-host for this series because uh, there is already, this is a fully voice acted game. So it's not like Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild where you had to read the text and some voice acting would show up. But for the most part, uh, it is fully voice acted. And yeah, well, we'll, we'll, we'll get to Wolf. He's in here too. Um, one last thing before we get going. One of the things I, that, I did, that I don't like about this game, and it's like the only thing I don't like about this game so far, is they don't really establish the characters. They just kind of throw the characters at you and are just like... And are just like, oh, you know who these people are. But you don't. So you kind of have to learn who they are as the game goes on. So uh, if there's any confusion as to like, who are these people? It'll be explained. So, um, without further ado, let's get the show on the road. I'm excited. You excited? Let's, uh, let, let's go venture into space. Alright, so I'm going to start a new game. Um, I don't think I need options. 
to help start a new game. I was playing on easy difficulty to just get the hang of the game, but for the sake of this and uh, because I guess people like it when I occasionally rage, I was thinking about hard, but I'm just going to go normal just so we can still enjoy the story. So, uh, yeah, let's go. Loading world. Uh, I'm playing digitally. Okay, so uh, these are all the playable characters. So to give you an idea of like who the rest of the cast is, because I'm sure a lot of people know Fox McCloud. Um, the other characters are this guy, Mason Rana, who is a genius inventor of the Starlink technology, which allows you to switch out weapons and ships with the blink of an eye. Um... You've got Chase Da Silva. She's a global racing sensation from Brazil. You have Levi McRae, a daredevil and thrill seeker. Levi runs headlong into danger and somehow survives. So basically what they did is it's it's Logan Paul if he could fight. Uh, Hunter Haka, a former soldier pursuing a spiritual quest. Uh, we have Razor LeMay. A maverick metalhead fighter pilot and tactician. Razor's musical riffs melt enemies' faces. I'd like to see that. Judge. He's a mysterious liquid life form in search of his origins. Judge has the superpower to slow time itself. And we have Shade. A fast-talking smuggler and feared pirate in Atlas. Uh, and then there's two characters here that I don't have playable, but you'll meet them along the way. So as you can tell, we're going with Fox. We get a cool, a cool little cutscene here. Introductory cutscene. Oh yeah, that's my boy. Excellent. All right, and just because I'm playing Fox, I'm going with the R wing. But there are other ships, and every time you die. You have to either start the mission over, or you have to go and get another ship. So the more ships you have, the more lives you have. Uh, and I'm not gonna... I don't think I can put any laser cannons on yet, so I am just gonna jump right into this darn thing. Somehow. Uh, I'm good to go. No, I don't want to do that yet, I just want to play with the Arwing. No, that's what I wanted. I'll keep the R wing. No. There we go. After making contact with an alien that crashed on Earth, astrophysicist Victor St. Grand secretly recruited a team of pilots to explore the stars. He named the alien Judge and called the team the Starlink Initiative because Avengers Initiative was taken. Aboard their Nova-powered mothership, the team arrives in the Atlas star system seeking answers about Judge's origins. Line? Oh. We're here. Atlas. Jewel of the Pleiades. Look, look. Welcome to Atlas. Oh, man, I'm gonna get so many hits back on Earth. No, you're not. Levi? No, I'm oh, supposed to Oh, we're gonna love Levi, this. aren't we? I'm not gonna change that. Chase, Levi. One of you will need to be outside to help Hunter with the escort. Okay. Wait! Said one of us. <laughs> So this is basically just Johnny Quest in space. Scans up, St. Grand. It's incredible. I can't believe you've been doing this for a whole year. Our third trip. Hasn't gotten old yet. It was Alkiani at last, now Atlas. The artifact we're collecting here might just be the breakthrough we need. We're closer than ever now. I know it. Proximity warning. Oh, 
that escalated like quickly. Is coming in hot. Right. Let's get our ears on. What happened? Do you have it? Yeah, but these guys don't like it when you steal from them. Sensitive types. Could use a little help here. She's not gonna make it. Get to the Equinox. We're coming. I'll man the bridge. Judge, take Mason with you to the hangar. We need to buy time for me to jumpstart the engine. Are you sure? Maybe I should help you in the reactor. They've never used Starlink before. Go show them what it can do. Take my ship. You're ready. Okay. Boys seeing this? Yeah, but it's not Wolf, so who cares? It looks like they're outnumbered. You know what I'm thinking. Absolutely, <sighs> positively not. We came here for one reason and one reason only, and that is to take down. Ugh. I knew I should have retired back on Corn Area. That was my kill. Ah, oh, whatever. I'll get this guy. How many more are there? Oh, really? An armada? Great. Just what I wanted. More fun. More toys to break. else getting dizzy yet? Take that. Nice shot. Oh, okay, back to cutscene. Hey, nice work, new kid. Thanks. Hey, Grant, how's it going down there? I'm almost there. Tell them to hang on a few minutes longer.
Oh, that in reactor hall. That's not good. Everyone back to the ship. The reactor's been breached. On our way. Just one more left. Saint Grand. Uh, hi. With us. No. Okay, well, that was an EMP. You better get out of there. Oh, no. Oh, that is not good. Oh, well, thank God for glue. Great start, everybody. First round goes to them. Equinox pilots, come in. The Equinox has crashed. Huh? All units, report in. Boys, I'm here. I survived. Do you read me? I repeat, the Equinox has crashed. All pilots picked up. Nothing's getting through. All this interference. All right. Well, <clears throat> ships in one piece, I guess. Don't know where the heck I am, but I guess we'll just figure that out. Oh, flight engines are down. Guess I'm on reserve power. Oh, we gotta oh. find the boys. Cool. Reserve power. Wonderful. Oh yeah, it's like a land speeder. Oh, yeah, this is much faster than Link. Whoa! You want a dance? Enemy analysis complete. Recommend short range weaponry. Oh, uh, flamethrower, shockwave, and floater. Oh, okay. Hold on. Okay, well, if you guys will just not blow up my ship, I can add stuff to it. So this is why it's called Starlink. So this is why it's called Starlink. You can link different weapons and different parts of different ships onto one ship to create a mega ship or a dumb ship, depending on what you want to build. Uh, yeah, sure, why not? Let me read some comments real quick. I guess it's Oh, come on, that priest just can't get out of a box. I thought we got him in box. High five. He even got a space call. How does that work? <laughs> Alright, let's go uh, destroy whatever these creatures are that are attacking my ship. Okay, you get off. Okay, I think that worked. A way out. Looks like that ship, the Equinox. Oh, what now? Hello, Cyclops. Recommend elemental combination. The Frost Barrage, the Volcano, or the Iron Fist? Is this funded by Rand? What the heck? Okay, uh, switch out that for the ice. Yeah, let's do that. Grief, you guys take forever to go down. Hello. Somebody else want to play? Can you get up from behind? I don't think so. Wait, 
wait a minute. I just realized something. You asked for it. Am I on Tatooine? You made it. You're the last one to report in, but I never doubted you for a second. Beppy, everyone okay? Fox, is it? Well, we were ambushed. Whoever attacked us kidnapped our captain during the battle. We appreciate your help, though. Well, they're not gonna get away with that. Come on, let's go get them. We can't. Those freaks who took St. Grand also stole our reactor. There's a backup, but until we get more fuel, we're not going anywhere. Hmm, gotta be something we can do here. Maybe there is. I rigged our tech with their ship. Check out your map. All right, the map. There's your ship. Oh. You should be able to see everything within the scan radius. The rest of the planet's uncharted territory for now. Razor, I am picking up an alien signal nearby. You think someone's out there? Worth checking out. Feel free to give the map a spin. Not much to it now, but once we explore more of this place, it'll definitely come in handy. So we're on the planet Kyrite. That's one of the cool things about this game. It's an open world game where you can just go from planet to planet in this one galaxy. So, lots to explore. So yeah, we, we've got whole planets to go through this time. Alright, well, let's mark a waypoint and see what's going on out there. Okay, I'll go see what's up. Be careful. On... We don't know what's out there. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'll tell you one thing that's out there. A bunch of killer robots! Yeah, we've only been here a week, but we've taken out a lot of them. There's just no reasoning with those things. Bunch of pests, if you ask me. Yeah, well, bring them on. They make good target practice. Uh, well, I, I never thought you could reason with killer robots. Just was not done. Good grief. I don't know what died here, but I don't want to face it. The signal's coming from Zenith. All right. Well, uh, hello. Anybody home? Oh, good. You're back. Wait, you're not Thicket. Nah, no, where's my assistant when you need him? The name's Fox. I'm looking for some fuel and figured you might be able to help. Hmm? Oh, sorry. My missing assistant has me all flustered. You haven't seen a squat, leafy fellow wandering around, have you? No, but maybe we can help each other out. Okay, I offer help. I sent Thicket to put down a beacon, and he set it right next to an imp hive. Stars knows where he is, but I need that hive removed. Then I can help you with uh, fuel, was it? Sure. Sounds good to me. All right, let's, uh, nice let's go find guy. this thicket guy. Atlas might be kind of dangerous, but there's some good eggs here. Yeah. Hey, so what brings you guys to Atlas anyway? We're looking for someone named Wolf. He's caused a lot of trouble back on Corneria. And now the bills Whoa. do. Don't worry, boys. Once we get off this planet, we're gonna smoke him out and make him pay. Gotcha. Well, after we get the Equinox fix, we're gonna find our leader. Maybe we can help each other somehow. Hey, you said it was an imp hive, right? <laughs> Imps, such nasty little machines. Of all the Legion, they irk me the most. I find the best way to handle them is, well, not to handle them at all. But I hear combustion works. Enemy analysis complete. Structural weakness identified. Flamethrower, nullifier, or imploder. Do even have the nullifier? Pretty sure I'm coming up on the hive. So that's where imps come from. This structure must be controlling them somehow. Uh, oh, I don't have the nullifier. Eh, oh well. Guess I'm using whatever this is. Wait, wait, was it the imploder? Yeah, it was the imploder. The opposite YouTuber. Is this game better than Star Fox Zero? I never played Star Fox Zero, but given all the negative criticism it got, probably gonna say it is. Now it's a party.
skipping during cutscenes? Oh, that's right, I gotta charge this up and then release it. And then I can set a black hole on fire! Because that works! That's how physics works, everybody. You can set black holes on fire. Never forget that. Is toast. Ah, wonderful. No hive, no imps. Just the way I like it. I have some Electrum waiting here for you, as promised. Oh, uh, our ship actually takes Nova. Nova? Where did you say you were from? Well, most of us are from a planet called Earth. My home planet is Papatune. Hmm. Well, the only way to get Nova here is to salvage the core from an extractor. But, uh, well, it should appear on your map. An extractor, huh? Interesting. Now that we have helped this observatory, our visibility on the planet has increased. There's a Legion extractor. Looks like that's our target. Are we getting skipping? Word of warning. Extractors are Legion machines. Before my time, they were easy to salvage. But since the reawakening, they defend themselves most efficiently. But you all seem desperate. They're competent enough. Just bring the core to me and we'll be done. Thanks, Carl. Big storm up ahead. Ah, yes. The extractor should be just inside. Starlink database update. Hello. It's not a plot hole. Even the Marvel people were like, hey, they've got translators. Was this anyway? okay, I'm not using this as loader. It's cool, but I want combination fire and ice. That works much better for me in my test plays. It's the only idea we got. First, you'll need to target the nodes along the perimeter. Oh, Aim for boy. the right power cells. Once those are down, the extractor's core will be exposed. Hi, right, gentlemen. Uh, I'm here to destroy your extractor and stop your sandstorm. Because it's annoying me and everybody else. So, uh, if you could please not extract whatever you're extracting from this planet, we'll be good. Also, I think I need to level up. Good boosters. I don't have anything else right now. Oh, I could level this up. Let those extractor nodes take you down. Dodge them or find cover. Yep, working on it. Gravy. Go eat down easy, do ya? Extractor node down. That's it. The nodes are disabled. Now's your chance to hit the extractor. Whoa. And dodge those lasers. That, nope. Ah, you shielded back up. I have... I, I, I bought digital, just because I got more in the starter pack. The nodes are reactivating. You'll have to disable them before you can damage the extractor. Yep, I know, Carl. I'm working on it. Ah! Jeez! I guess this is a mini boss because these guys ain't going down so easily. Maybe it's an actual boss, I don't know. There we go. Ooh, 
What's that, kryptonite? It's down. Sweet. Now grab that core and get out of there. The core is in the center of the extractor. Get a good hold on it and pull back. Just not too hard. Got it. Interstellar. Nova is such a rarity, you could make quite a fortune with your skills. I don't get it. Can't you just make more Nova? If only we could. Sadly, while there is plenty of Electrum to be found, no one knows how to refine it. So the only Nova left is inside those machines. And well, we're not all as brave as you are. Wow. I wonder if St. Grant knows about this. What was that? Our captain, St. Grant. He learned how to create Nova. That's how we got here. Your captain can make Nova? My stars, why didn't you say so? Knowledge of that kind could upset the entire system. And you say he's missing? That's why we're here. I see. Fascinating. Well, thank you. You're the scientist character, aren't you? You're like you're gonna be like Beast from the X-Men cartoon. In fact, you kind of sound like Beast from the '90s X-Men cartoon. So just me, or does he sound like uh, the guy who voiced Beast in that cartoon? I think he kind of does. Maybe it's the same actor. Whoa! Hello. Who are you? Whoa! Nothing like that on Corneria. St. Grand and I assembled a database through our contacts in the Pleiades. Scan that animal, and we may get a match. Well, how do I scan it? Yeah, I'll do it later. Whoops, sorry. Oh boy. Like some sort of mining town or outpost or something. Is this is gonna be Far Cry all over again where I'm just gonna have to storm outposts. Well, let's get this back to Carl. There you go, Carl. Special delivery. Oh, you're back. Yeah, I am. Here, take this. Okay, here's that core. Outstanding. Extracting the Nova should take just a moment. I'll need to arrange for a replacement. Huh? Well, you have a captain to find, don't you? A captain that can make Nova, no less. Your crew could use a local expert, and I'm not too shabby in a fight, either. This isn't my crew, so you gotta ask them. Maybe they'd be open to it. I don't know. Then it sounds like a sabbatical is in order. I will meet you there. Just have to find that darn assistant. Hey, guys. Got that Nova for you. Heading back now. Nice work. See you soon. Man! These guys have the best snacks. Slip! Stop stuffing your face with that junk or you'll get all sleepy. We gotta be wide awake if we're gonna catch Wolf. Oh, good. They've raided the fridge. How long has it been? We just crashed and they've already raided the fridge. Almost there. Good. Once we get the Nova loaded, we should be good to go. And then we find St. Grant. That's right. Yeah, unless he's... You know. Levi, what the heck? What? I hope he isn't. I'm just saying. Don't worry, he's our captain. We won't let him down. Don't worry, we'll find him. Somehow. Let's just get this ship back into this, this stratosphere or whatever and get off this planet. How do I transfer your fuel? Open your ship's computer. You should be able to launch the repair sequence from the Equinox screen. Okay. Core systems. Restore. Ah, we can upgrade the, the main ship. That's nice. Nice. If we find any more goodies around here, maybe we can upgrade the Equinox even more. Until then, let's see if this works. I'm gonna stand back just in case it don't. This was a precision strike. They must have tracked our core through the hall. Well, this isn't enough Nova to draw anyone's attention, that's for sure. But Mason's calculations are right. Should be just enough to get us airborne again. Yeah, or just enough to be blown to pieces. Shut up, Levi. Hit it, Chase.
that worked. Flight capabilities restored. Nice. All right, your flight engines are restored. Good luck in your search, Fox. Not so fast. I've been thinking about what Mason said back there. We should work together. Something tells me we're going to need more manpower, and same goes for you guys. So what do you say? Uh, yeah. I think it's a great idea. Let's talk it over at the Equinox. Actually, once you're here, I'd like to get a closer look at your ship myself. All right. So, uh, like I said, this is an open world game. So if you're tired of exploring one planet and all the species and inhabitants on it, you can just do this. See ya, Kyrite. We're heading into space. the title screen. And there we have it, folks. This is our open world. The playground we get to play in. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at this. This is fantastic. Wow. That is friggin' awesome. So friggin' cool. And like, no loading times. You can just go to any of these planets and you're just there. This is fantastic. Wow. Love it. Alright, let's go meet up with the crew. Starlink database updated. I have waited so long for this. I foresaw this moment many years ago. Wardens showed me, and now the gift appears. Oh, you must be our villain. The time has come to harvest Nova. Nova? Please stop doing that. When the Warden Gods departed so long ago, they took with them the secrets to Nova. no trouble but first i'm gonna need to get back to my crew oh crew this guy's an overactor and i love it you will show me how to make nova and you will kneel before your i don't Lord. like what that implies Thanks, Judge. Uh, all right, everything looks good. Wow! This Starlink tech is amazing! This will give us the edge we need to take down Wolf. Sup, Cody? Good luck. Let's rock and roll, boys. Catch you later. I got contacts. They might know who took St. Grant. Let's talk to them first. This is the only intel I trust. The Legion's got a hierarchy, and orders gotta come from somewhere. Let's crack a few more open and see where that gets us. That's not very diplomatic, but it could work. What are we waiting for? Let's get out there. Oh. Levi, come on. Oh. oh my gosh, Levi. Greetings, Andrew. Hold on. 
need to show you something. Open your ship's computer. Right. What do you need to show me? Mods? I could just put the mods on real quick. And I can upload, uh, uh, upgrade the character too. Hmm. Probably gonna want to do this one. Pilot skills. Well, I was just there. Each time you master a weapon or ship, you can come here to gain new abilities and advantages in combat. All right, that'll help. We have riding the line. Flying ace, coming swinging, mix and match, stay in formation, and then stuff up here is probably really good. Cool! Thanks. That's good to know. So like I was saying, the imps on Karit and the drakes that attack Shade are all Legion. So the Legion have to be connected to St. Grand's capture. An interesting theory. But our research points to the fact that the Legion are not intelligent. Which means someone's controlling them. We just need to find out who. Wow. You guys sound just like a prospector I know. That haven old timer was always on about the Legion hierarchy. Great. Let's go talk to him. Wait, 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 wait. I meant you guys are nuts. Are all humans this dense? Look, I saw the ones who took St. Grand. They weren't robots. If this guy's got a theory about that, we should hear it. Fine. If you guys want to talk to Eli, Go ahead. But I'm warning you, he's a little on the cranky side. You sure that's not just when he's talking to you? Oh, so you do have a sense of humor. Good to know. Oh, one last thing. Your hyperdrive is back up. Just don't run into any asteroids. We only got so many spare parts around here. Nice. Thanks, Razor. All right, so we're going to planet Haven. Hyperdrive activate. I love that the waypoints are also, like, accurate. Like, that's how far it's, it would take you to just get there if it were, like, a normal, um, open world game. Warning. Oh, hello. Hyperspace travel. No! That was close. Jeez. Hyperspace travel bypassed. Area clear. Somebody's going fishing for foxes, and that's not right. Fusion Drake's detected. What? Hyperdrive disrupted. Where? Oh! An ambush? They're on someone's tail. Sage, what's All right, you fight? guys, rematch. Channel open. What's up? Looks like you're in trouble. Need it. Whoa, am I already dead? You. you got a Shoot. funny way of saying thanks, pal. Uh, what do you know, big brain? Maybe I've lured Legion into my trap. But so long as you're here, I'll let you take, take your ship down like that. No tomorrow. Yeah, you will. I'll blow up my ship? I just got this thing. Like a good battle to get the blood pumping. You're all right, pal. Even though you got a puny ship. Our ships are the same size. Math isn't your thing, is it? Ha! Ah, feisty too. I like it. Maybe we'll meet again. Thanks. That guy's nothing but trouble. You're lucky. Most outlaws only got one code: shoot first, talk never. Man, this place is a freaking danger zone. It's Atlas, kid. Our space has all kinds of loot caches and shipwrecks. And if it's worth picking over, it's worth fighting over. Why else do you think those drakes were after me? Indeed. We expeditions stay within our planetary gravity wells for a reason. Even the prospectors rarely see space these days. See? Even the eggheads got street smarts. It's the way we live. Or else we don't. 
Alright, everybody, welcome to the next planet, Haven. Alright, guys, I made it to Haven. Where am I headed? Just keep your eye out for an old refinery. Should be near a river. Old refinery near a river. Well, there's Copy the that. river. So, Shade, have you known yeah. this guy long? I can't do that. No offense, but you don't seem like someone who makes friends with, well, anyone. Hey, I never said we were friends. We met back when he was still taking jobs. He used to be one of the baddest bounty hunters around. He used to be? Eli's like 300 years old. Saw too much of the world and stopped making sense of it, I guess. Always ranting about the world being secretly run by Krakna or whatever. One day he just packed it in and set up his own digs. Sounds like me. When I started developing Starlink, I tried to get funding. Everyone thought I was crazy. Well, jury's still out on that. I can see Shade is going to be the uh, Jessica Jones character of the uh, adventure. Wonderful. All right, let's go find this guy. Not that way. Whoa. Like giant beetles. Cool. What are you? Space is weird. Looks like a refinery to me. Hello? Anybody home? Hello? Hold it right there. You're on private property. Move along before you make another mistake. Easy now. I just want to talk. Shade sent me. Shade? That meter never listened to a word I said. Doesn't surprise me. Look, I just got a couple of questions and I'll be out of your hair. Huh? Here's the deal. I ain't in the business of being made a fool. You want me to play along? You're gonna have to make it worth my while. Are you an anthro grasshopper gunslinger? My refinery's been combing the area for minerals, but there's a couple of types we're still missing. You scare up a rare one for me. Maybe we talk. No sweat. All right. Dude, I'll that's play the awesome. fetch quest. Another alien, bro, for the win. Just remember why we're here. Friends are good. Information is better. All right, so we're looking for a mineral. You're looking for a shiny rock about half the size of your ship. Chip off a chunk and bring it on back. Oh, hello. Hey, knock it off. Okay, so uh as of note, the bad guys deal more damage here. Uh, I'll take that, thank you. Gotcha. Walking dinner, I love space. Previously on the walking dinner. Yeah, go around that. Alright, Mr. Grasshopper, sir, here you go. I has this. Link database updated. That'll do. Tell you what, this refinery churns out electrum by the bucket. Since you did me a favor, I'll throw some of that electrum your way from time to time. All right, let's talk. You want to know about the underground, the gears running beneath our boots, our feathered foes behind the masks? Something like that. I'm helping some friends locate their captain. He was captured. 
Whoever's controlling the Legion, we think they did it. Doubt it. Grax doesn't like to show his face. So that's his name, huh? Was he the punk who sent those drakes? Drakes are his eyes and ears. He wouldn't have come himself unless they spotted something real pretty. Seems you piqued his interest. Why don't you help us both out and see for yourself? All right. I have to do anything else, or? Oh, I do have to do this. The Legion Drake crashed here not too long ago. You hacked that core of his, and that'll give you an idea about how the Legion and Grax talk. Just let me know what you find. You got it. Also, there's a lesson for you here. If anything weird happens, like, I don't know, uh, an evil space cult decides to show up and, uh, you know, steal your spaceship's core and uh, your captain and try to take over the universe, which I guess is what they're up to, just seek out the nearest conspiracy theorist and uh, he'll make sense of it for you. See? Problem solved. Just like that. Take that, thank you. I can sell that later. Oh, you do know a conspiracy theorist. Well, there you go. So you're already taken care of. Close to the site. That info you want's lodged inside, so you'll need to hack it. Just make sure you stick close by, otherwise that hack will sever. Good luck. All right. Launching data decryption. Guess we're playing this game now. Warning: Legion reinforcements have arrived. Oh, hello, guys. Why did you get here? From. You're just coming out of the sky. Warning. Legion incoming. How much longer on this hack? It's Warning. taking forever. Legion reinforcements incoming. a little garbled, but I got a read on that SOS. Okay, SOS? What next? You got it. You think it's this Grax guy? Huh, what an unfortunate name to have. You're giving Eli too much credit. I think he believes it's actually Grax controlling the Legion. Like, the literal Grax. Dude, I'm sorry. I am so lost. What's a Grax? Ah, uh, a formidable creature. Legend has it he was born hundreds of years ago in a forgotten tomb. Or he lives on the sun and communes with the ancient wardens. Depends on the story. Oh, so he's the boogeyman. But like, real? It's just a tale outlaws tell each other. I wouldn't worry. I wouldn't worry. She says I wouldn't worry. We're fighting the boogeyman, apparently, and we shouldn't worry. Okay, sure, let's not worry. I'm sure we won't have any problems fighting the boogeyman. I mean, I've beaten Ganon, I've beaten uh, a witch that could control the seasons. I... Over there. Ah, that is a warden spire. A relic of a long-forgotten era once set to hold valuable treasures to those who dare disturb it. A 
However, they haven't been active for centuries. Still, they do remain well guarded. So you're telling me the Legion army is controlled by an old tower? That's where the signal leads. Yes! Fox one, bad guy zero. <laughs> Let's check it out. Warden spires. Oh. Oh! Gee, if only I had a fire and ice weapon. The spires reacting to my weapon. Maybe I should try another weapon. See what happens. Hey, it's opening. Fascinating. I'm reading a very faint power signal. Imagine the data we could collect if we add power to the other spires. For now, let's just grab what's inside and see what we find. Okay, did we find anything? That's advanced warden technology. A modification once used to specialize their ancient spacecrafts. Cool. Wonder if it'll work with my Arwen. Ah, indeed. I believe it could integrate with our ships quite well. In fact, if the other spires are active, there may be several modifications we could use. Well, why don't we give this mod a shot? Open your ship's computer. I like how these guys think. Dude, look! It's it's a it's ancient technology from a for forgotten race. Could be godlike. Let's put it in our ships. That's like the equivalent of me being like, guys, I found the Holy Grail. I'm gonna put it on my dashboard. It's a great idea. Any mods we collect will show up here. You can use them to beef up your ship and tune your weapons to your liking. Oh, sweet. Well, that's definitely going on. I know, I see him. Gonna do some modding here. That's good. Put anything there? Yes. And my ice ray as well. Or uh, my ice missiles. Do I have anything there yet? Nope. I don't have anything there yet. Nope. Okay, we're good. Sweet. So what about the signal? The Drake definitely pinged the spire. But it's hard to tell where it went from there. For now, we should head back to the refinery and tell Eli what we found. I like Cody's, uh... Just something peculiar about the Warden Spire. It carries the same signature as St. Grand's artifact. The artifact Shade got us? But that means St. Grand was after Warden technology. I believe so. It is my conclusion that the artifact is part of the Legion's communication network. If we learn to decipher it, we may be able to intercept Legion transmissions. And then we can find where they took St. Grand. John, you're a genius. So, how do we decipher it? Hmm. Such an analysis will take incredible computing power. But it can be done. We will need Electrum, and a lot of it. Then we should continue to the refinery. The prospector may be able to help. All right, then. Seems like we're still missing a few things from the crash. I've added a new objective to your mission tracker. Check it out. Yes, thank you. I know how to do missions. I like Cody's idea. Drax is just the guy who invented cornbread stuffing. I think that's what he said. Yeah, cornbread stuffing. But, and then he became a cult leader because, I don't know. Being the inventor of cornbread stuffing is only so good. But mostly Earth. Alright, uh, hello. I'm back. What's up? I'm back. That's what I said. Did you find what you're looking for? Maybe, yeah. We think there's a way to spy on the Legion. But we'll need a bunch more Electrum first. Huh. Well, this refinery's given you all the Electrum she can. 
But if you're willing to help me upgrade the old girl, I bet we can convince her to work a little harder. All she needs is an ore processor from the mining site. You fetch me one, and I'll see you get your fair share of the profits. Sounds, Sounds good like to a me. deal. Just watch out for the Cyclops in the area. I've been through the mill, but i never seen anything like this one. So what can you tell me about this place? About a hundred years back, word got out. Atlas had all the electrum you could ever dream of. Critters from all over came out digging for something better. Then the Legion woke up. This is what's left. All those dreams, rusted over and broken. Which means more goods for the rest of us. Huh. So it was like the gold rush. Everybody came to Atlas looking for their fortune. But then an evil cult decided to take it over and now it's this. Oh, hello. You're big. Analysis complete. Cold yeah, that's going to be a problem, isn't it? I see the Cyclops. Oh my. That's no Cyclops. I've never seen anything like it. Those Nova crystals on its back look remarkably I think got the little guys first, so I don't they have a problem. Cool it down to have an effect. Oh, you are big. I don't like that. Thank you, Tree. You saved my life. And my ship. But mostly my life. Thank you again. Wow, these must be fireproof trees. Okay, well, that didn't work. I need to go heal. I'm gonna need extra firepower for this one. What is this? Freeze Ray Mark II. Sure! It was invented by a guy named Dr. Horrible? Stop throwing fireballs at me, please! It's already very hot in this ship. Very stuffy. Ha! That actually worked. Oh, well, okay, no, never mind, that didn't work. I think I can sneak up behind him. Hey, it worked! I can! Attacking me now. Good grief. Uh oh. Oh, get out of here, will ya? Oh, hi. I'm dealing with your subordinate. You're going to have to wait your turn. Come on, don't be that guy. Thank you. And now the base is mine. Thank you. Ooh. Hello? I bet I can melt this. Easily dislodged if targeted with heat weaponry. Oh. Gotta do this just right 
there. And then flying in here. All right now. The good should be somewhere inside. A lot of history here. Got it. Careful now. Those processors were built to last, but they're heavier than a skitter tusk. You might have a touch of trouble taking flight. Yeah, that's okay. I can just speed my way back. And not break this thing. That is essential to the plot. Yeah, I claim this planet in the name of, well, I guess the Lilat system since I'm playing as Fox, but I guess we can claim it in the name of Earth. It's Earth now. Thank you. And no, I do not want Marvin the Martian to land and suddenly claim it in the name of Mars. We've got enough trouble as it is. Alright, Mr. Grasshopper, here you go. That'll produce more money. Now ain't that all. I upgraded the outpost fully? I can. Sweet. Hey guys, how are the numbers looking? Attention. We now have enough electrum to analyze the artifact. You can launch the Equinox upgrade from your onboard computer. Where do we start? Those warden moons we found? Sensors are picking up another one near you. Check it out. There might be more valuable salvage. Where am I going? Oh. Claim it in the name of Xanderland, huh? Oh, actually, one second, guys. I hear the phone. All right, I'm back. Sorry, it was a telemarketer. Uh, what the heck is this? Weapons having no effect. There they are. All right, so what am I looking for here? Puzzle time, huh? Try switching up your weapons. Everything I know about Warden Spires tells me that's the key. And I thought I left puzzles behind with Link. Oh, there's one. Or two, I should say. Ah, oh, we're getting closer. Move 
this one here. This one back over here. This one down here. And then this one over here. There we go. And now I need to move you there. And you there. There we go! This spire appears to be a type of anchor that holds Haven in place. Oh my. There's a shattered planet here in Atlas. What? Perhaps something went wrong with its anchor. A shattered planet? I ought to see that. Purchase the Warden Cipher upgrade? Okay, I did it. I can do a bunch of stuff here. Yes, I will upgrade everything. Ah, oh, ran out of money. Warden artifact analysis commencing. This could take a bit. When you're ready, come back to the Equinox. By then, Sage should have some good news for us. This may be an opportune time to investigate those other Warden spires. It's not a bad idea. Those mods could definitely help in the fights to come. Are they Equinox? Sure thing. Hey, Star Fox. Oh. How bad do you want to find this wolf guy? If you had to put a price on it. Do you take Cornarian money? Oh, right. Look, I heard the expedition got raided. Some research site on Haven. Not the usual MO for outlaws. Might be your guy. Star Wolf. All right, boys. This could be our first big lead. Let's chase it down. I guess Grax is gonna have to wait. I got a wolf to hunt. Equinox, what's up? Anything else I can do out here? I'm reading some wreckage in the area that looks like it might be a downed Legion ship. Bet we'd learn a few things if we hacked into that bad boy. I'll get to that later. I'm chasing wolf right now. We'll wait on that shattered planet. Let's go get wolf. Oh, hello, Imp. Alright. Yep. Look how smooth this We're coming run. up on that research site. Ready to track down Wolf? Ready as the day is young. I sure hope he hasn't caused too much trouble. But if he has, we'll make him pay. Let's do this. Oh, hello. We gotta check the place out ourselves. Ow! I can't see a darn thing. Let's get some light. Just need to find a generator. Which wolf? Uh, the one with the eye patch. Help! I'm under fire. What? Oh, I'll be right there. Uh, never mind. I'm gonna be there right now. Responsive. All right, all right, I'll pick you up. Thank you so much. Now I can return to my studies. Good for you, scientist. Oh, good, you turned on a thing. Hmm, it looks like a 3D scanning device and a pretty advanced one, too. I bet their engineers worked really hard on it. So you're saying we should shoot it? What? No, don't do that. <laughs> Come on, enough lollygagging. We can't know what Wolf was after unless we get those lights on. Thrilling space. 
space adventure turning on lights that's getting a little better i don't get it what could wolf possibly want in a dump like this well he left all the pricey gadgets behind so it's not the money maybe he wanted the research suppose that depends on what they were researching here one more generator ought to shine a light on All right, so Wolf was after research? Ah, my eyes! I can see! You sure you should be flying? Hey, look! The ground's all dug up! Those researchers must have made a big discovery! What did they find? Beats me. But if Wolf ordered the attack, it can't be anything good. You think they left anything under those crystal majiggers? One way to find out. Hmm. Maybe try another. Still nothing? Okay, one more. Hey, I found something. It might be too old for your scanner to pick up. Maybe there's something around here that'll work. Hmm, you mean like the 3D nice. scanner? Now try setting it on that scanning device you found. That'll probably do it. Alright, what we got, what we got, what we got. Okay, I'm connecting to the expedition database. Oh, that's what they were researching. A Legion robot. Or part of one at least dated pre-electrum rush era sounds cool part of one huh what do you want to bet wolf took the rest a big dumb mechanical weapon sure smells like wolf what, the? what was that fox i'm picking up a heat signature in the area oh it boy yeah there's heat I'm signatures all right Here? A crashed ship. Wait, there's something under the rubble. The heck? Got it. What? What kind of ship is that? Are those bones? Doesn't seem like anyone's inside. Shade, you know about this unit? Sure, not like I'm busy. Oh yeah, see the ticker horns? They mean that scrapper belongs to Cash. He's an outlaw, and not the fun kind like me. He's greedy and ambitious and dumber than a Sasquid. Someone's always pulling his strings. Just the kind of goon Wolf would hire. All right, send me those coordinates. Sounds like we gotta pay this cash a visit. Hmm. Cash, huh? I wonder what he likes. That's right, toasters. Alright, well, let's go to space. Actually, I wonder if I'm strong enough to handle this yet. Uh. What do I have on right now? Wait, plane door. That on, that on. That on, that on. Not the ship. It's fine. Okay. Can't do any more leveling up until I get a couple more bad guys, so... Legion detected. Oh, hi. Looks like more Legion. I bet there's an extractor somewhere close by, too. Can I level up if I beat you guys? One down. I feel much better. Party destroyed. Oh, I did level up. Sweet. Ship level. 
what I wanted. I want this. Thank you. Proximity alert. Multiple hostiles detected. Another imp hive? These things spread like a plague. Better stop them. Working on it, Razor. Oh. Outlaws. Lovely. Uh, I'm sorry, you're not my type. Sniffed at an outlaw hideout. I sent it to your map. Okay, so I need to go to space because that's where this cash guy is hiding out. See ya for now, Haven. Way too far away from me right now. Alright, so that's Haven. Is that where I'm going? So Cash's base is all the way back at Kyrite? Lovely. Just fast travel there? It'd be much easier. Nah, can't fast travel. At least not yet. Nah, it was too far away to be a moon, to be the moon. I think it didn't even have like a estimated, you know, point of arrival or estimated like uh, distance. Warning. Incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. Yep. Hyperspace trap bypassed. Area clear. Thank goodness. Actually, just out of curiosity, what's the map look like? Alright, so we got the trade sector. Haven, Kyrite, an unknown planet. That's the sun. We have the frontier sector, unknown planet, unknown planet, and we have the dark, the dark sector. Oh gee, I wonder, I wonder where the bad guys are hiding. Surely not the dark sector. Mm -mm, couldn't be there. No. Nah. All right, let's go visit this cash guy. Grief. All the way past Kyrite and everything. Fast travel, even with hyper draw. Okay, well, it just got time. interesting. Oh, I'm not gonna make it. Shoot. Oh, what we catch this time? Where are you? Come on, let's fight. I'm picking up some wreckage near your position. Might be worth checking out. Alright, you guys gonna leave me alone now so I can find your boss? Thank you.
Warning. Incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. Another one? Oh my gosh, you guys are persistent! We got Dang it. Hard to dodge those. Bye. All right, we're close now. It's right there. Warning: Incoming outlaw hyperspace trap. Yeah, none of that, please. Stay alert. You're coming up on the outlaw base. Yeah. You think he'll tell us where? This is why there's a bunch of them waiting for me, right? Wait. Am I already oh, dead? Oh, come on. We gotta smoke him out first. Let's get to it. Come on, recharge, recharge. Don't lose the R wing. There you go, recharge. Just a little bit more. There you go. You're recharging. Uh oh, this ain't looking good for you. Get rid of these outlaw nets. Oh, you're a mini boss. <laughs> you like that? No, nah, didn't like it at all. You're kind of mean. And you're very fast. We getting dizzy yet? Cause I'm getting dizzy. Okay, that's it. I'm done. All right, where are you? Last guy. Come on, let's do this. Wow, that guy was hard. Carl's head. Oh. Okay. Can I get any mods for that? Did I win anything? No, I did not win anything. Great. I don't feel equipped or anything. Hey, you're not supposed to be here. This is Wolf's turf, and you do not want to get on his bad side. Believe me. <laughs> We're always on his bad side. You, you're Star Fox. Wolf told me about you. Oh, we're in the money now. Everyone, target those ships. Finally, a good fight. Aim for the turrets on his base. And that ought to rile him up. Well, this just got interesting. Of damage. Oh, I need to bail. That is not failing. Gentlemen, this is not helping right now. Oh, gosh, these guys are way higher level than I am.
How about this, Cash? I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll leave you alone. You just tell me where Wolf is. We'll, we'll call it a draw. How about that? Boys in one pieces. I think that's happening. Kudos to the developers, great space battles. There we go. Find more turrets. But first, the welcome wagon. are there. Oh, right into a turret. Ah, I'm not gonna make it. Come on. Bring it back.
Alright, your turn. Fair level of challenge in this game, not gonna lie. Can I level up yet? Maybe? Please? No? Okay. my ship. No, hold on. Switch the ship. Yeah. This will take this red one. It's a good thing I always carry a spare ship. Alright, I'm tired of you guys. Come on. Yeah, you guys are really, really annoying now. Yeah, there's only one of you. I can fight them off. It's the turrets that suck. What? Bail out. Okay, this must be cash. Okay, hello. This isn't over. Anybody else? Come on. We're not done playing, I can tell. doesn't know where his own tail is, but he might have left something in his base that can help. Hey, just, uh, watch for traps. Mama's still gotta get paid. You got it. Wolf sure has been busy. Guess his goons from Lilat were dragging him down. And without Andros paying the bills, Wolf is on his own. Oh. Ah, so you could say he's a lone wolf. Oh, I just aged ten years from that joke, old man. <laughs> I thought it was funny. It was kind of funny. <laughs> and they say I got a bird brain. Well then. So glad I wrecked this ship and made it hard to navigate through. Oh, shoot, go the other way! Jeez, can't even get close to those things. All 
Alright, let's go find out what Wolf wanted from this cash guy. What is that? Hey, there's a pile of scrap here. Looks like Legion. My word! That's gotta be what those expedition fellas dug up on Haven. Poor researchers. I wonder what happened to them. They're not here. But this is definitely their stuff. Except for that machine. Don't remember seeing that at the research site. Let's get a closer look. Oh, I know what that is. It's a toaster. <sighs> hey, Starlink, mind helping me out? Let me see. Now, I ain't seen that beast in a long while. Back in the day, we prospectors mined the ice on Tundria for water. That there slicer was the best way to do it. Best way to cinch a blossom, too. <laughs> so we usually got folk from the iceberg instead. What's the iceberg? Iceberg. Coldest prison in Atlas. You want to pick up the scent of your furry friend, might be you should look there. A prison on Tundria. Thanks for the tip. We'll check it out. Oh, I don't like where this is going. Wolf's raiding a prison now? That could be bad news. He's breaking out criminals. Country is an ice planet, right? What do you think Wolf is doing there? My guess is he's digging up more of those Legion parts. Like on Haven. But why? They ain't even whole. And even if they were, he can't control them. Maybe he's building a new ship. Or a giant robot. Hmm. <laughs> What's that crazy canine up to? Well, I guess we'll find out, won't we? Speaking of which... Seems like that fox guy has made some friends. They just destroyed my outpost. There must have been 50 ships! Oh... 50 ships? <laughs> yeah, yeah. And the worst part is, they're headed to your place on Tundria now. Good. Exactly. Glad you, uh. Wait, uh, why is that good again? <laughs> Never thought I'd miss the food, Uncle. map tundria's in the frontier sector it might be tough so you should make sure your gear is top-notch before we head out hmm i guess that means leveling up don't it what i haven't been able to level up yet what's this nonsense no i don't want to move anything from the r wing i want to keep everything on the r wing to go back to a planet and get it fixed up. Alright. Starlink database updated. Oh gosh, that's where that's where the ice prison is? Oh jeez, how about no? Well, I can go to the Equinox at least. Yes, please. Fast travel would be wonderful. This is the only loading times when you fast travel, which, honestly, could be worse, so kudos to the developers. And here I am. I'm trying to get to the Equinox, though, so... I will activate the hyperdrive and just go around the planet. around. 
We'll get there one day. Jeez, even hyperdrive, it takes forever. Well, admire space. Well, Xander, I certainly wasn't going through the planet, now was I? All right, we're here. Hey, welcome back. The analysis just wrapped up. Judge, tell us what we got. Using St. Grant's artifact, we can now translate Warden encryptions, giving us access to the Legion's communication network. That's amazing. Have we picked anything up? We intercepted a repeating transmission, streaming the video to your onboard computer now. A video? A streaming video in space? My children. Oh gosh, turn it off. My believers, the Wardens have bestowed us with another gift. A storm will cover Sonatas as the prime reawakens. Dude, what the heck was that? That mask. The guys that took St. Grand, they were wearing those masks. Sage, send this to Eli. That has to be Grax. No. No way. You don't know what you're saying. Grax or otherwise, this video confirms it. This fellow is controlling the Legion, and he just released another on Sonatus. Then we need to head there immediately. I'm on my way. Well, another giant robot. Uh, I do have a colleague on Sonatus. Perhaps she's seen something. Put her through. Uh, where did I put her code? Ah, there we are. Dr. Wilder, are you there? Fern, pick up. Carl? Look, um, I'm evacuating the workshop. I'll have to call you later. Then you've seen the Prime. Fascinating, isn't it? No, I, I mean, yes. The Carl, the Prime. It's planting extractors. The Warden Harvest is starting again. No, it can't be. I know, it sounds insane, but I know what I saw. The Legion, they'll overrun all of Sonatus. The whole planet? Impossible. I'm sorry, I have to go. Hold on, we're coming to help. Now well, that seems problematic, but we'll save that for next time. I'm going to end it here, guys. Next time we're heading for this planet over here, Sonatus, and we will continue, uh, we will continue exploring. How far is Sonatus? Is that it? Wait, where's Sonatus? Oh, that's Sonatus. Oh, it's over there. Okay. It's a very cold planet, I guess, maybe. No, maybe it's actually Earth temperature. I don't know. Hard to say. Anyway, so, until next time, guys, uh, we will play again on Tuesday, I think. So, until then, see ya, and thanks for joining.